much for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Melissa Andrews. And I'm Jeff Smith. Well, get ready for it because it is coming. We could end up seeing a record-setting storm over the next two days. We have team coverage for you again tonight so you know what to expect right in your neighborhood. Both Chief Meteorologist Chris Vickers and Meteorologist Matt Willoughby are tracking the very latest as we start to see the first part of this storm. Yeah, right over my right shoulder. In fact, Chris, let's talk about where you live and how that will make a difference in this storm and how it plays out. Is that correct? Yeah, ultimately, I think everyone's going to come away with a whole bunch of snow, but the timing of it's going to vary significantly across our area. So you need to pay close attention to those details for Wednesday. One of our alert days back to back alert days Wednesday and Thursday rain to snow that will begin early in the morning that will initially begin west and north of Toledo and in the Toledo Metro we will be expecting the steadiest that snow to begin to transition late morning and by early afternoon it will be coming down heavy. Still a mix though south of Toledo gusty northerly winds 10 to 20 miles per hour and our poor travel will really increase through the afternoon tomorrow. The entire area blanketed in a winter storm warning and that winter storm warning for heavy accumulations of 12 to 18 inches that will be possible. Our idea here is to keep you ahead of that storm and to keep you safe. One way to do it is the WT. 11 weather app. Let's head it over to meteorologist Matt Willoughby. Matt, you've really been amazed. I know you're a couple weeks into <laughs> your job here, but amazed at the detail of what that weather app can provide. So t dive into the details for us. Oh yeah, Chris, this is an absolute beautiful and amazing app. But before we get into it, I want everybody to pull out their phones and download the app if you don't have it yet. It is a beautiful app to use and it's a great app to keep you updated on everything. And with that, like I said, Another reminder, download the app again. But if you need any shovel or uh, snow blowers often, you may need to see if those are still in good condition. And number three, don't panic. We'll, be, we'll get through this, I promise. And, uh, and if you do, in fact, get stuck in your car or anything, make sure you have that car emergency kit, kit as you go pretty much into tomorrow and into Thursday. And make sure you have extra gas uh, for your snow blower. So just some tips just to prepare for this winter storm is make sure you have any personal snow shovels. Think, make sure you plug those in and make sure you, they are in good condition uh, for tomorrow and even in Thursday. Now, if you are stranded, make sure you have anywhere from non-perishable foods or any flashlights you may need. And if power does go back, make sure you have any warming uh, warming tools like blankets or anything. And make sure you also have some first aid kits uh, by you by standby just in case you need that, Chris. All right, Matt, exactly right. Of course, safety first in mind, and we're highlighting the impacts. And Matt, this is exactly why that 12 to 18 inch snowfall forecast remains unchanged intact here from the WTL and weather team. And that is for the vast majority of the area. And as that storm wraps up, potentially near blizzard like conditions coming up in just a bit, I'll highlight that full hour by hour timing because as you'll see tomorrow morning, that's when the switchover happens. You'll see the details of that, how long it will last coming up. I'll send it back over to you, Jeff. All right.